Hey, what is up guys? No subscribe guy back again. For another inspiration, another part of the inspiration series we're gonna we'll say. It's today I'm building McDonald's, but today I'm actually gonna be building it, not just it's not a showcase today. Hey, finally I'm doing another build. I don't know if the last few ones have just been showcases. So today we're gonna get on with actually building. So the parts of this McDonald's we're gonna use sandstone. Cobblestone, white stained glass panes, nether brick stairs, whatever this one is, I don't know, and black wall. Right, let's get over here. So, we've set out a bit of road where we want to put it, roughly. Obviously, we want a bit of a car park up front. So, we'll start about here. Here, here's good. One, two, three. Oh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we're like thirteen long and four high. This is just one wall. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. All right, that is thirteen. Yep, and it's going to be four high. So this wall is just going to be plain sandstone. Just to suit the interior look, it'll be plain sandstone. Like that. So it's just so we can add things on the interior more. Then go across diagonally one. Place one there. Then cobblestone, leave a gap of three. One, two, three, and then another cobblestone. Another gap of three. Another cobblestone, another gap of three, another cobblestone, which we should, and then make it five bits. Of, we're gonna, so make it five bits of cobblestone. It's five cobblestone with gaps of three in between each, and the central one will replace with sandstone. So here's what you got. You got a little bit of a diagonal line, and then it's straight up like that. All right. Pretty easy, pretty simple so far. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy. Then we'll go over to the other side and we'll, we'll mirror it on each side. So across Dangly one, 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 two, three, 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 one. But we've gone one too far. Yeah. And then replace that with the sandstone. So two cobblestone. One sandstone, two cobblestone. And we'll do that for now. Then in the gaps, we'll fill in the gaps with cobblestone like this. So replace the, the grass there and just fill it in with cobblestone. And we'll do that to both sides. We shall do that to both sides, yeah. This is just one part of our our overall building. What our overall building is gonna be like when we finish it. Right, let's take this up. One, two, up by to the four. Three, four, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Oops, and two, three, four. Same on the other side, obviously. Two, three, four. Whoop. And then we'll fill in the sort of the holes in the middle with glass panes, white stained glass panes. I chose white stained glass panes because I thought the colour went a bit nicely, softer. It was quite a nice colour to have, to be honest. Better than plain, but it's better than stuff like bright green glass panes. You obviously can fill this in with whatever colour of glass panes that you wish. I am doing this. I think it fits the whole sort of McDonald's y sort of light, light colour theme. Along with the sandstone and cobblestone, they, they just work for some reason. Alright, fill in these windows. Uh, there. And there. There, there. Oh, there.
Right, once we've done this, we'll do it on the other side, obviously. <laughs> and then we'll get on to the other parts of the building. Now, this is a really simple building to assemble. Just because I like to keep most of my buildings as simple as possible. So, anyone out there who wants to build this can build this. It's rather simple. You know, it's just some cobblestones, some sandstone, that's about it. Nothing really too difficult here, just filling in some large window panes on the front of a, what will look like a reasonably modern sort of McDonald's-y like building. So yeah, if you're doing this, just fill it in like this. Pretty good. It is, it is probably one of the most basic buildings I've ever built, but still doesn't make it not look nice. It still looks nice at the end of the day. Or I think so anyway. Like get that right. So we've got this general shape going. What we're gonna do is then add another just add another layer on top of sandstone all the way around. But this time including over the corner. And you'll see why because of the roof for later. So we need to go over the corners on this one. Like that. Right, okay, right, 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 right. So that one plain wall. We could make that into a drive through maybe later? I don't know, we'll have to see. And we've got this so far. Then what we're going to do is go again diagonally by two. So two diagonally. And same on this side. So diagonal, diagonal. And then just fill that up to the required four high. I like to build everything up to four high and then just add that top layer on top at the end. So we've got that side and then we've got this bit. What we'll do is add a second uh, layer. Yep, a second one. So this time in a straight line, not in a diagonal, across. Then we're going to go like that, cobblestone in the floor. And then a gap of three. And there, but this will be a door. That's a point to add, that'll be a door. So they'll be up by four and across the top like that. So on this side, cobblestone on the floor, cobblestone, usual gap of three, and cobblestone on the other side. But this time, as you bring it up four, you bring it across the top. Because this will be our door. And then just in there. In there. This will be sort of the doors. And then you can bring it out like that. Like an opening door itself. I'm going to do like that. Or you can do it another way if you want. For example, on this side you could have one door closed. And the other door open, but that's not really going to work like that. But this side is just going to be closed. Well, this side's going to be a window. For me, I'm going to make this side a window, to be honest. Then, obviously, in the gaps, fill that in there with white stained glass. And then mirror. So, gap there, one, two. Like that, four there, and then four up there. So there, you got that going. And we'll put in the last diagonal there. Like so. And we'll copy it on this side. So cobblestone, one, two, and then diagonal. Oops, I'm going a bit off in this building. There you go. And there. Here's our sort of basic, half of our basic shit going. We're going to build another one of them on the other side, and then we will start on the roof. So just of course, a layer on top like that. Oh, we've got the glass panes in here. One, two, three, and four.
and we'll start our next top layer. Right, like this, okay? Pretty easy. And there we go, there we have it. And what we're going to do is we are going to build a second side. So one uh, gap of three, one gap of three, that gap of three, that gap of three, that. It's five along, but with a one in the middle, like the last time. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, uh, there. One, two, three, there. One, two, three, there. And there. Okay, what are we doing on this side? Yeah, but then it was that. Okay, so we've got that. Boom, there. And across, like so. Okay, then we'll just quickly fill it uh, all in. And we can get to work on beginning the roof. And then, and then depending on how long this has been, we'll have to see about either continuing on next episode or just continuing on for a bit more on this one. Okay, right, like this, pretty easy. Two, three, four. 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 Bring it up by four on all of them. Now we'll get out of it. Alright, bringing it all up by four. And then we'll add our fifth layer on top. That's what the roof will be. That's where the roof will be, basically. On the fifth layer. Oh yeah, I forgot. We've got to add the window panes in. They're a bit of a pain to add in, but... It's, but <laughs> yeah. That wasn't funny, but... I laughed. Like that. Okay, yep. There. So this side done, then we just gotta hop over to the other side and we'll be done in a sec over there. One second do. So what it'll take. Alright. So as I explained before, I really like this build. Spend a bit of time working out how or what it's gonna look like. Tried a different bunch of materials and I thought for the building sandstone sort of worked the best with cobblestone. Just the sandstone's quite a soft sort of looking material. Well, not soft, it's hard looking material, but it looks quite nice, quite pleasant. Whereas cobblestone's a bit more, a bit less sort of pleasant, it's a bit more, a bit bolder. And I didn't really think this, I just thought they looked nice together. <laughs> no, I just thought it looked good. And I decided I would do it. Right, so we've done that now. We need to add that fifth layer on the end, on the top, and we're all done. This is what our establishment is looking like. So just a fifth layer of sandstone on the top. Of course, you can use whatever materials whatsoever that you wish for this build. I I use these just because the sandstone color. Sort of a McDonald's, sort of yellowy, really, really light yellow. I thought that'd go well with the whole theme of McDonald's slightly. 
And plus, that's sort of the colour of a lot of the, a lot of McDonald's that you see. So that's my inspiration, inspiration for it. I don't know why I said it in a weird accent. Anyway, one. So we have this one. The I don't know how to say that. Followed by the nether brick. Uh, three of the nether brick. This is on the fifth layer. Followed by another one. One, two, three. One. One, two, uh, three, one. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, one, two. Okay, so there is a way to equally divide this, I believe. Take off the ends because they weren't there originally. Alright, so we restart. So here, uh, leave a gap of three. So it's not on the end one, it's just one before the end one, so in, within the 13 blocks itself. I did this so I did this perfectly so this ratio would work. Yep, and it has, so there you go. Like that. So it leaves out this end one here. And here. One, two, three. Here. One, two, three. I didn't really do this one as perfect. Oh, it's still a bit scared. One, two, three, one, one. And then one on the inside like that. Leaving that corner block, obviously. One, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. So we will be going around adding on details later. So the important details, or the sort of the middle school details, we'll add in later. But for now, we're just doing the general building, and then we keep going up another layer. Made a mistake there, but oh well. Okay, so we'll add a bit more of the detailing in later. For now, we're just doing this. So two blocks like that. I'm going to miss out the corner one. And we are going to go across like that. So you get that little corner stair, I like to call it, like that. Right, so we've done this. And in the corner like so. And then we'll add another layer on top. So it's th overall, these stairs are three layers high. Here, yeah, there's one, two, and three. This is the third layer, obviously. Obviously, yeah. And this will just be pretty simple, pretty easy. We'll do that all the way around at a later time. But for now. I think I should sufficiently end this part one here. Part two, I guess, will be... Yeah, I'll finish off the rest of the roof in part two. Uh, yeah, I'll finish off the rest of the roof in part two. Or the rest of the slopes in the roof. I'll fill in... I'll tell you about the rest later, to be honest. I know about the rest, but... I'll tell you about it in the next episode. But so far, all we'll do is finish off building the rest of this roof in episode 2 and then we'll start on other detailing on the outside don't know what we're going to do about the inside yet yet but we'll find something out we'll find something to do with the inside right and here we there we go right like that so you got this sort of, oh we missed one. So you got this stripe pattern going now on the roof. Oh, oh my god we missed another one. How many have I missed? Just two, okay good, luckily it's just two. 
Yeah, so we got this pretty nice stripe pattern going with the the cobblestone wall. And the cobblestone wall, the cobblestone and the sandstone. I think it looks pretty nice, to be honest. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. That is a pretty simple one, and we'll fill the rest in another day, next episode, which will come out in the next, you know, one or two days. That's all I have for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you have, don't forget to please uh, like, favorite, and subscribe. And I've been the No Scribes guy. And uh, thank you for watching.